So here we have the torque boards motor mount. Basically it comes with a motor mount for a 63 millimeter motor. And then you have your clamp. We're gonna show you exactly how to mount this clamp on the actual truck, which is a caliber style truck. And then all the boats, bolts that are included for your motor mount. So let's go through the bolts first. You have four M5 bolts, you have four M8 set screws um, for the clamp, and then these M5 lock nuts are for here, and then you have your motor mount bolts, or your motor bolts. And then we have the clamp. So now the way this works is first, before you actually assemble it, you want to make sure you assemble your drive wheel kit. That way you have a basis on how much space you're gonna need to mount the motor mount. So to do this, a regular truck will come with typically two washers and a nylon lock nut. So since we have this wheel already assembled, you wanna put one washer in You want to slip the clamp over the truck and then we're going to go ahead and put this on just so we can understand the fitment on where we want it. So don't forget your lock nut is in there. So this is how you will set your position. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the M8 set screw, screw it in a little by hand. We're going to do all four. And we'll go ahead and screw it in a little. What you can also do is you could also put um, thread lock around this bolt. That way these bolts don't back out. It's not typical that they will, but if you want to be extra cautious, you could add it. So now let's go ahead and put one of these bolts in just so we can make sure that it's 100% aligned. So to mount this motor mount, slip this on and then angle it to how far you want it. So typically I like a little bit of clearance. So I'd probably say this is the perfect size. And then we'll go ahead and pull it off so it's easier. So now we'll go ahead and screw these in. All right. All right, so that's screwed in. We have sort of the position that we're okay with as far as how close you want it to the deck. It's typically gonna be like that. 
And here's the assembled wheel with the drive wheel. And then you simply just want to align it. Typically I have it maybe about one, two millimeters close to the truck. And then you want to make sure it's as straight as possible. And then once you have it straight, you simply just hold it fixed to a uh, forward. That way it's pushing forward. And then you want to clamp down on one bolt. So we simply just secured this, this bolt here first. That way it's secure. But what we want to do is secure this bottom one. That way we push this truck or this actual clamp towards the top. So now that we have this, we'll undo that one a bit and then we're going to screw this. So basically what it does is it pushes it, pushes the truck to the very top of this area. So now just to check the fitment again, and then we want to come from the bottom, and then make sure the bolt's tight. Next we want to do is, you go on this side, and then we'll clamp this one in. Basically what we want to do is we want to get all the surface areas tight. So this is tight. And then clamp this part. And just those three alone, pretty much that's all you really need. The other ones, or the main one, or the last one I mean, this one here is on the curved section. It's typically not needed, but you could put it also. That way it just won't go anywhere. So there you have it. It's pretty much rock solid. It's not going nowhere. Make sure it's lined up correctly, that your pulley at any chance is not going to run against your motor mount. So just to confirm that it's not going to move around or shake when you're actually riding, you want to hit it with a mallet. Typically you don't need to, but... But it's pretty much rock solid. If you want, you can bolt it down again, but pretty tight it's not going anywhere there you go so next what you want to do is put these lock nuts in these simply just help fixate the motor mount to the pulley and make it a little tighter so we screw these guys in It's all better done with this not on the truck or not on the board because once you adjust this you typically never have to adjust it again so these m5 button cap screws use a three millimeter hex which goes here so what I do is make sure it's tight inside you don't want to undo the bolt this way because you could easily strip the head so what you do is hold this here just to hold that part and then use this is a eight millimeter wrench and then simply just tight tighten everything that way it's not going anywhere And then simply just do that for the other four bolts. These four last bolts here are going to go here. They're going to fit when you actually assemble the motor. 
But pretty much that's it. That's how you install the torque board's motor mount. If you have any issues with it shifting, typically it's going to be because the bottom or these set screws aren't screwed in tight enough.